Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a workflow object with data structures using the Web Object Management Workbench application. Starting with Tools Release 9 to 7, you can use Web Object Management Workbench to create data structure and workflow objects. These enhancements reduce the dependency on the Windows development client, extending the flexibility of lifecycle management to multiple platforms. Prior to Tools Release 9 to 7, the definition of workflow object and supporting data structure objects were created through a development client before moving to the Web Orchestration Studio to work on the workflow object. Navigate to the Object Management Workbench P98220W from the fast path. For the purpose of this tutorial, let us consider that an OMW project is already created which contains user-defined objects. We will use this project to add workflow object with data structures. To create a workflow object, we need the supporting data structures. Select the project and click Add in the Object Management Workbench web. Select Data Structures from the General Objects drop-down list. In the Add Object form, enter the required information. Next, add data dictionary items to structure members for data structure objects. To do so, Select Design from the More Actions drop-down list. In the Data Structure Revisions form, click Find to search for the data items on the right and move them to the left into the definition. We can control input-output, whether a field is required or not, resequence and delete fields. Save the Data Structure Revisions form after adding the Data Dictionary items. Now, another data structure object is required for the workflow object. This can be done by creating a copy of the data structure object that we just created. Select the data structure object, then select copy. Enter the required information on the copy object form and save the changes. In the project objects tab, click find and the data structure object that we created is displayed. Next, select the data structure objects and check in by selecting Check in Approve Share from the More Actions drop down list. Now, select Add in the Object Management Workbench web form to create the workflow object. Select Workflow Process from the General Object drop down list and enter the required details. In the Key Data Structure and Additional Data Structure, Add the data structures that we created. Save your changes. After creating the workflow object, let's navigate to the Workflow Studio and search for the workflow object that we created using Web OMW. Select Release Reservation from Manage drop-down list and transfer the unreserved workflow to Web OMW project. Select the workflow process object and then click Save as to copy and save the workflow object in Workflow Studio. Modify new description, version if needed. Notice that version 2 of the workflow object is created and reserved on the project owner's name. Click Release Reservation to unreserve and transfer the object to the OMW project. With the integration of Workflow Studio and Web OMW, we can simply navigate to the Web OMW to search for the version 2 of the workflow object. New version of the workflow object will be added to the default OMW project. We can move this object to the production project by selecting Move Object to Project from the More Actions drop down list. We now have two workflow objects and two data structure objects in our project along with the user defined objects. To learn more, visit us online at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.